And so uh, one more big, big piece here. Um, it's called All the Goods of the World. This one was a direct sort of, initially, it was a direct confrontation uh, with the death of my father. Um, I'd done one small painting that didn't work for me. I, it was sort of, I, I thought, eh, you know, it, it ended up being a good painting, but it didn't really get to the root of the problem. So this, initially, for me, was about my, my parents' divorce. And uh, that's when I started making art. When I was seven years old, I got divorced. I started making these magical drawings to stop this, the crumbling of my world. Um, and so, you know, after his death, I thought, you know, I should probably be grappling with this in some way. Um, and this painting came about because I had this was a painting of Rubens that I'd always loved, uh, the, the drunken Silenus, and it had a lot of movement in it. And so I started thinking of a painting where I would put in my, my ancestral past here, the senator, or the general, um, as, you know, sort of the inescapable things uh, that have to do with genealogy and, and genetics. And um, the, the figure, there's a black man pinching Silenus on the butt. It took me a year, looking at this painting for a year, and lecturing about it uh, occasionally about the movement in it before I realized that what was being depicted was anal sex. And it was quite a shock to, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but, you know, when I, when I came to put my painting together, I uh, added a little carrot here. <laughs> the, the, the genetic background is going to get you no matter what. Um, when I went to pose people for it, I, I used uh, MFA students. This one has a big temporary in it, too. The nice thing about working after a, an old masterpiece like that is that you start to see, because you change things and you have to adjust because of those changes, you start to learn about that Rubens quite a bit. And uh, you know, just the way he circled that figure with certain lighter forms. So I started putting egg tempera white under some of these figures, in that figure, this figure, under that one, on his shirt up there, and in, in the roses. So there's kind of a circle that goes around that kind of was trying to do some of what I was seeing in the, uh, the Rubens to get the uh, composition to flow around that figure a bit. Um. Is this great? <laughs> is this great? Is that the general supposed to resemble you? Yeah, I posed both of them. I posed, I figured there must be some resemblance somehow. Mm -hmm. So I posed both of them. Um, yes. And uh, the child, which might be you when you were seven, um, is that someone you know, or is that...? Uh... Uh, no, that, was, that head's made up, um, you know, looking at the Rubens a little bit. Made up, ended up looking like a, a guy that uh, lives out in New York and collected some of my work, which is pretty funny. <laughs> and, uh, I don't think he saw the connection, but I did. And he's got a goat thing. Uh, those magic drawings I started making when I was seven were erotic drawings, so somehow the goat boy uh, related to that. And if you look at the Rubens, what you don't notice at first is there, there are two goats there in the corner copulating, so it's, again, you don't see them for the first year you look at the painting. So that's the, uh, so that related there. That's my dog Roxy, who's uh, also on Facebook, and you can friend her. <laughs> she's a famous artist. Yes, she's a, a conceptual artist. Not she doesn't like what I do. But, uh, so is this innocent baby about to be stepped on? At least tripped over, I think. That's my guess. Um, yeah. I, I can't tell you what's going to happen next. I just I guess if movement is going to be hard to stop at that point. But it's the same in the uh, in the Rubens. And you know, looking at the Rubens, my constant sort of question as I'm doing mine is, what was in his mind? Why why did he put this together? Was you know, psychologically this was an important painting? He kept it his entire life, um, and so you know, he, he he loved that painting, and it was important to him. And I wonder what it meant. You know, it's kind of hard to decipher.